So what is going on everyone and welcome back to another YouTube video. For any of you guys that are new here, my name is Levi. I know Rory loves seeing that intro. He always talks about the chest pound for whatever reason. I thought it was a total chat when I first started it. But anyway, today's video I'm gonna be taking you guys through essentially how much of everything that I lost from marathon training. And today we're working out chest today. I've noticed instantly I'm already kind of weaker in my lifts being back. It has been like a week and like a couple days since the marathon, but I'm definitely noticing the effects today. And I have been from like the whole, I would say prior week as well. to do an assault bike sort of workout. I'm not running right now because my Achilles has been bothering me like hell the last like two weeks after the marathon, or week and a half I should say. And so I've just been taking a light, not doing any running. I've barely been doing any walking too just because I want to stay off my feet. First day I'm going to do some sort of cardio. We're going to do an assault bike, then we're going to do some slams, and then we're going to do some kettlebell raises. First time you guys have really seen me do some CrossFit type workout stuff on here. I also want to note in terms of strength and everything that I've lost over the marathon, I would say the biggest loss that I've had in terms of strength so far is definitely in my legs and in my, I would probably say my arms. It makes sense because my legs and arms are probably being used the most during you know the whole training for the marathon because when you're using your arms you're running like this and I've gotten pumped sometimes from doing it and then also my legs I wasn't really training legs for the past four weeks so please don't show those on camera no. God, I it, but we're gonna get started we got to get this in and we're gonna go as fast as we can hopefully we can get it done in how whatever time Rory set well, we got started Rory, go. Okay. And that is my weight midday with also like a two pound, yeah, yeah, I would say this camera's about two pounds with this lens on. It's around a hundred and like, what, 81 pounds minus a camera, 179. That's literally been honestly no different than my morning weight. And that has been, I would say the same weight that I have been weighing as of now, um, probably just due to an increase in some weight post marathon. That'd be water, it's definitely not muscle yet. But I do want to show you guys something that I thought was pretty interesting. So at the beginning of my marathon prep, I was about 180 pounds, 181 pounds. This is right after my power lift meet. Some of you guys know I competed in the 182 category or in other words, like 82.5 like kilograms for my power lift meet. And for the first two weeks of my marathon prep, I didn't lose any weight surprisingly at all and I was still running a good amount of uh, I would say like distance at this point point. and then the day right before the marathon I weighed in at about 173 174 pounds so in total I literally only lost about five to six pounds over my marathon training which I really want to talk to you guys about explain why I think there was so minimal loss and where I think that loss came from so as if it isn't obvious I love doing my talking points in the gym no specific reason well I guess there's a couple reasons first off it's quiet Second off, the lighting here is nice. And third off, I should probably just get back on track with the video. But anyway, so I wanted to break down with to you guys like my weight loss transformation, or I should say marathon transformation. And the reason I say transformation is because a five pound transformation isn't really, I would say anything that I would consider like a serious or dramatic transformation, even though I do think like I actually lost you know, a certain amount of muscle, a certain amount of fat, a certain amount of water that I'm gonna break down in a little bit, but I wanna give some factors. Um, but yeah, you know, five pounds, I could wake up one morning, you know, five pounds heavier than the day before, depending on like what I eat, my water intake and everything. So that's why, you know, I'm kind of like, you know, transformation. But 
I did mention two factors that I think affected my weight loss and whatnot and why it was only five pounds. And I do wanna obviously give you guys like the number of, you know, how much you know muscle I think I lost, how much water and how much fat. But before I do that, I think it's really important that I bring up these two factors. And the first factor is that I'm on SSRIs. For those who don't know what SSRIs are, they are selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors. Yes, I got it right. And in other words, it's an antidepressant. I'm not depressed, I'm not, you know, I would say like severely anxious or anything. I just take it for obsessive compulsive disorder. Some of you guys know I have, and it's just a medication that seems to keep me at bay for whatever reason. I really don't like being on the meds. Some of you guys can tell sometimes in my videos, I can be pretty flat, I can be very just monotone, and that's what happens when you take those meds sometimes, it just causes emotional blunting. And so another side effect though of those meds is the fact that they can cause weight gain or make it harder to lose weight. And so there's not a lot of compelling evidence online, or I shouldn't say compelling evidence, there's just not a clear cut answer as to why it makes it harder to lose weight when you're on SSRIs. I've actually had other people message me on Instagram because I've been very open and honest about my, you know, prescription, what's helped me get through OCD. And people have asked me like, you know, is, does it actually make it harder to lose weight? I remember on my bodybuilding competition, I was slowly weaning off the medication. I've kind of been off and on it. And in the beginning when I was on, you know, my full amount, I felt like, man, I'm not really like losing weight at all, but at the same time, I've never been super consistent with it, and there's so many more factors, so for me just to say that that one factor is it, isn't necessarily, I would say, the end all be all for my weight loss transformation. And the next factor I wanna bring up, which I think is the actual causation of this such small weight loss, is the fact that I was training first before I was doing my running. As some of you guys know, Rory and I, or I should say myself, Rory talked about it once in one of my videos, I mentioned to you guys plenty of times that I probably would have done better in my marathon or in my marathon training had I been running first, but instead I decided to prioritize lifting because I wanted to keep as much size as I could during this marathon prep. Why? Because I'm a young dude and I really just like looking big and stuff, Like that's gonna be my 100% honest answer. And so I think by training first and expending a lot more energy into my weightlifting, I was able to keep a lot more muscle mass on and that prevented me probably from losing a good chunk of weight that I could have lost, which would have been muscle mass loss, which would have made, you know, again, the transformation a little more drastic. But I think I probably would have only lost, you know, like another two to three more pounds. Also, you know, a marathon prep isn't only eight weeks, so, that could be another reason why, you know, I was lifting and my marathon prep wasn't even that long. I actually do want to also mention really quick how hard it is to lose muscle. So if like, you know, you're training for a marathon and you're also weightlifting, it's actually way harder than people think it is to lose muscle. Obviously, you can ramp up that, you know, rate at which you lose muscle depending on your training and whatnot. But on average, if you're not training at all, you know, like weight training, running, whatever it is, it takes about three weeks to actually start losing your muscle, which is a long time. So I think, I'm bringing that up because I want to emphasize the fact that my training was only eight weeks long and then it takes another three weeks to actually start losing muscle, but I was also training then. So I didn't really lose that much muscle mass and that's probably why the weight loss wasn't as drastic. So of the total five pounds that I lost during my marathon prep, I want to break down where I think those five pounds of loss came from. So I think I lost about 1.25 pounds of muscle, two pounds of fat and 1.7 pounds of water loss. Now, I think one of the big things here that I really want to emphasize is that if you are training for a marathon, you don't have to lose an insane amount of weight. It will be easier on your body, but you don't have to give up all the muscle that you work for. Um, you don't have to, you know, lose a whole bunch of fat, even though it probably would be, a, you know, a lot more ideal because it's going to be a lot more of a lighter load on your body to carry. That also doesn't mean that you can't do well as well because I ran a sub 330 for my first marathon, you know, and only losing five pounds and I still think that is pretty good. So, you know, for me, I think it is kind of weird that I only lost out of my weight, but again, with those factors that I mentioned, it's really hard to say, you know, is it really that surprising? Eh, I don't really think so. Before I let you guys go, I do wanna make one more mention of something and it's a critique on something that I said earlier in this video in the very beginning, kind of with like, you know, my strength and whatnot and how much it's gone down, you know, in the gym and whatnot. And I do wanna say that I don't think that I lost strength at all 
whatsoever over the course of my marathon prep. In other words, what I think happened is that I lost the energy expenditure that I could put into my workouts from all the running that I was doing. I just think my body was so tired that it couldn't put the same output out into my workouts that it would have been able to had I not been running so much because literally a week right after the marathon was over, I was literally back to pushing up the same amount of numbers that I was, you know, prior to the marathon prep. But that is going to do it for this video. I hope you guys liked this video. If you guys did, be sure to give it a like. If any of you guys are new here, do not forget to press that subscribe button because you guys know I will be back. And as always, die trying to do what you love. The sky's the limit and I'll see y'all in the next one.